Hi there off Road Phonetics, my name is Mandy, I'm from Fat Camp and this is my partner Brad. Today we are here to help you in your preparation for the Roof of Africa. Now the way we believe is, is the correct way to do it is by functional training and high intensity interval training. The whole point of this is to build as much lean muscle as possible and to burn as much excess fat as possible. Um, we do this by recruiting as many muscles at the same time in one exercise. Um, this will then push your, your testosterone levels up which will produce lean muscle and in turn burn fat. You've heard of the saying, burn fat while you sleep, well, this is how you do it. Instead of, of, of doing long, extensive cardio sessions, we put it all into one quick session, and then for the next two days afterwards, you're burning fat while, you're, while your body is, is developing the lean muscle. All right, guys, what we want to do is we actually want to go through a couple of functional exercises um, that, that are, um, are chosen for different situations you find in, in, in races, for instance. Um, like we said, there are, there are hundreds you can choose from. Um, the first exercise we, we, we thought was, um, was the swing. Uh, Mandy's busy demonstrating the swing now. Um, it's a very good uh, full body exercise. A lot, uh, it's, it's, it's a very demanding on your core. Um, we feel that it's the same, for instance, if you're riding your bike, you need to lift it up over a rock or something. You're going to use that same type of motion. Um, as you, Mandy sees, you can see, Mandy's keeping her back straight. Um, once you've done 10 or 15 reps, you can swap over and carry on. We will eventually put all the exercises together at the end. This is a perfect example of a swing. Alright, another exercise that we thought is, um, is, is a good example for, for instance, if um, you, you fall off your bike, uh, you know, your, your equipment weighs anything between 5 and 10 kgs and say you've been riding for, for two, three hours, you know, if you fall off, you've got to get up. This is a perfect exercise to assist you with this. It's asking for your core. Um, you know, it's, uh, the, the, full body, the full body is working. Um, and yeah, basically it will definitely benefit you in, in, in that situation. Not only that, it's also if you, if you need to push the bike, you need, you need that pushing power. And I mean, you do a couple of these, uh, 10, 15 reps, and you swap sides again, you'll feel that um, how beneficial it will be for, for that situation. Okay, the next we want to demonstrate here is actually two different exercises for two different situations. Mandy's busy doing a ground and pound here. A ground and pound is ideal for, for instance, going on a flat and going over a rocky area. Eventually, you know, for picking the bike up and that your arms are going to be using, um, be used a lot, your back's going to be used a lot. So this is ideal, ideal exercise. You're also in that, in that riding position as well, so it's very good for your lower, lower back and your, and your quads. Um, the other, the other um, exercise Mandy's doing here is floor press. You can see she's going right up with her core, pushing right up to the top. So it's working the, the chest, it's working the core, it's working the, the triceps, the shoulders and everything. This is ideal for going downhill, for instance, um, you know, um, holding on the bike and pushing down your chest is in an isolated movement, an isolated position and it's, it's very demanding on, on, your, on your pecs. So this is a perfect exercise to be doing. Um, I'm going to chat to you about uh, periodization. Periodization is a term used by coaches and, and fitness or athletes for the breaking up of a, of a program into different cycles. Um, it's pretty simple for, for, this, for this sport I and mean, for the preparation of something like the Roof of Africa, a race like the Roof of Africa. Um, you'll have off-season, you'll have uh, pre-season, you'll have in-season and you'll have actually the competition while you're, while you're competing. So um, for instance, uh, off-season will be more of your recovery uh, from stuff that you've injured from, from, from the previous uh, season and, um, and also active, just active recovery, staying, staying uh, fit at a certain point. Um, your pre-season would be uh, working on, on your weaknesses, stuff like um, your strength and power. Um, for, for instance, if you fall off your bike or something, you need to lift up your bike or you need to push your bike so you'll work on that type of thing. Um, your your in-season is more of your body weight type of training, high intensity, um, for instance like burpees, um, uh, burpee pull-ups, a lot of ground work, push-ups even, your normal dips, all, all your body weight exercises. And then your in-season is, is, is also low-key. Um, your in-season is your actual racing and that that you're doing. So your smaller races building up to your bigger races. And then obviously your low-key um, exercises, you don't want to burn yourself out. That's the whole idea of periodization is not to actually burn yourself out. You know, you can't be at 100% fitness from day one through to day 365. Um, but that in a nutshell is periodization. Okay guys, the next exercise we've chosen is basically for, 
just uh, for when your body really gets tired and starts, starts gassing out during the race, it's going to help you. You get this right and you push through this, it's going to help you pass that sticky part of the race. Um, it's, a, it's a full body weight exercise. We have shown a couple of um, ones with the weight. Uh, Mandy's doing a burpee plus a pull up. There's two, obviously two different exercises the burpee, and as Mandy comes up, it's a pull up. Do 50 of these, and I guarantee you'll see it's exactly as being in, in the middle of a race. And get through it, and you'll, see, you'll find a lot easier to get through those sticky stages. Another very important aspect of training, which is often overlooked, is assessments. We believe at least once a month we have to do an assessment with you, or, or you need to do it yourself, to test your, your strength, your flexibility, your hand-eye coordination, reflexes, strength um, and endurance. Without doing that, you've got no idea of where you're going. It's like going on a, on a road trip without a map. The reason why we do this type of training, you know, we've got over 200 different different routines uh, that, that, we, that we've put together and, um, and the, you know, we, we do this for, for two reasons, to prevent mental staleness and to prevent physical staleness. Mental staleness in a nutshell is basically boredom. Um, a lot of people stop training because they get bored of doing the same thing week in and week out. It's the, it's the uh, definition of insanity, doing the same thing week in and week out and expecting different results. Um, another thing that we do um, is physical staleness, you know, especially um, for guys that are um, active, it takes three to four weeks to basically um, for your body to adapt to the same routine. So we constantly got to keep it guessing and keep it shocked so that the, so that the progress is, is at, at its maximum. Great.